Okay, water system assignment. Um, you're gonna see three assignments that look a lot alike. The first one's on water, I'm gonna talk specifically about that. The next one's on food and egg. And the last one is on climate. They all look a lot alike. And I'm only gonna do this one introduction and you'll get the same, have the same parts, same themes, same challenges. So what you learn from doing this assignment, you'll be able to apply to, to the next ones. Um, what we're gonna do is, is set up a problem. I mean, uh, like water scarcity is, is a huge challenge. It's a civilization disruptive challenge. It's gonna require uh, some very difficult decisions. Likewise, food and egg, how are we gonna feed the world? Likewise, climate, climate change and energy supply. I mean, these are all massive challenges that actually have kind of tragic choices. We're gonna to have to make some choices where some people win and some people lose. Right? Some people get water, some people get food, some people get, get, get sea level rise. So these are difficult, difficult choices. And this assignment asks us to engage in systems thinking as to step back and figure out what the big issues are and what levers to pull and how to have, how to have influence. It, it also helps us think about systems leadership is how do we affect change? Because we're going to have to not just understand the system, but we're going to have to change it in some meaningful way. So this assignment is, is uh, the where we start to dig into some of the more difficult challenges of the Anthropocene and really apply some of these systems leadership tools that we've, we've been collecting and, and developing over, over the semester. So let me pull up this one assignment and show it to you, and I'll walk you through it so you'll see how to succeed. Okay, here is the page of uh, if on, that's on Google Docs that you can get to through Canvas. And you can see there are a couple couple dates here. Um, you're gonna have to begin the project ahead of time. You're gonna have to get some basis for making a decision. You're gonna have to make a few decisions. And then you're gonna come to class on the 30th of, of April, of March, I guess that's 3.30, isn't it? And, and we're gonna then debate it in Zoom, in breakout groups. We're gonna have a, have a discussion. We're gonna practice active listening. We're gonna have all kinds of different opinions on this. Uh, and then, um, on the, and then you've got another couple days after that, three or four days to synthesize, uh, do some more research and, and frame your opinions and defend them in the paper that you will submit on, in this case, the 2nd of April. The other assignments have the same pattern, uh, just a slightly different set of due dates and, and tasks. So uh, what I want you to do, first of all, is sort of get a sense of what systems thinking is. There's a little bit of reading and writing here to do. Yes. And then I want you to, to do some literature review of these huge topics. Uh, in this case, you know, water is critical to food and egg. Uh, we trade it. It's, it's a virtual product that travels around the world. Uh, it's incredibly important in making our energy system work uh, and certainly it's it's huge public health people die um, from not having fresh water um, and so uh, how do we deal with that uh, it's we got to manage it when it rains and of course uh, we can be concerned about the efficiency of the flush toilets and faucets in our in our homes so these are the big topics that I want you to research I've done most of that work for you if you click on the link about reading the literature um, here it'll take you to uh, the literature I've provided that's really all you have to do is read and summarize that but when you summarize these concepts, because I'm asking you to give some specific definitions of them, explain what they are, you're, you're going to take some quotes, use some data, demonstrate that you've read and mastered this concept, and then whenever you have something specific, attribute it to the author and date. Just do good scholar, practice good scholarship. Okay, so that's the first thing you're going to do before you're going to come to class. The next thing you're going to do before you come to class is you're going to you're going to do allocations. You're going to make prioritization. This is the, the, the same challenge, same kind of format that we've done in the past where you're the czar, you're in charge. What are your initial allocations? You may think that improving public health is, you know, maybe that's that's the most important thing because people are dying and you want to put most of the money there. That's whatever decision you make, you put it, it put those numbers there and then figure out how you're going to defend that allocation. Okay. Then what I want you to do again, before you come to class is I'm, I've shared my allocations in a video and I'm, I'm explaining what I think the main concepts are. So I want you to watch that video, take some notes and uh, be prepared to critique my rationale because you probably have different reasons than I do. And so come to class with these notes and, and you know, we want to include those notes into, in the assignment that you're going to have to um, turn in. 
So I'm expecting to see you and specifically mention and take notes from not just the literature I've given you, but also from the video that I've provided. Then you come to class, okay? Then you come to class and we meet uh, and we go into breakout groups. Okay, so you've gone to the Zoom session, you've gone into the breakout group, I'm gonna ask you to take some notes. There's a form I have that you can download of who's in your breakout group, what's your breakout group number. You know, fill out these forms, answer these questions, share your allocations, defend them, uh, be prepared to come back to the, the main session where we're going to form fish bowls and, and you'll be able to defend your answers to, to me uh, and everybody else in class. Uh, so we're gonna have a couple of breakout group sessions where we're, where we're gonna be trying to think through uh, these very difficult choices. Uh, and, then and then you'll have a chance to uh, go back uh, to your, your house, your apartment, your flat and, and think about these topics uh, and, and reflect on lessons learned and uh, decide what your final allocations will be and to be able to defend them. And so the, you just go back to the assignment, you'll see some specific tasks that you have to do to just uh, basically provide your final allocations and, and defend them well and capture some of the lessons you learned from this assignment. Be careful when you begin this assignment not to make the allocations ahead of time before you do the research. Don't fall prey to confirmation bias because if, if you make those allocations before you understand the topics, you're just gonna be reading the literature to defend those allocations. We're just so susceptible to confirmation bias. And don't watch my video until you've made your choices, until you've already made the allocations that you, that, uh, that you think based on your your understanding of the situation. Then see what I say and see if you agree and come prepared to, uh, to debate me in class and, and take notes about, about where we differ and include those notes in the assignment you know, so I can read it, so I can find out where you're thinking, so you can demonstrate to me that you've engaged in this assignment. The next th two assignments are gonna look a lot like this, food and ag, another major system challenge, and then climate change and energy, of course, massive. So th this is an opportunity for us to explore real challenges, very difficult, uh, solution sets, uh, some tragic choices, going to give us a chance to practice active listening and hear topics and issues and defenses that are very different from our own. These are really fun assignments if you engage them uh, earnestly and uh, are prepared to listen to people who are different from you. Okay, thank you.